Um, now, there's also an example I brought today that's called the IntelliKeys. And this is an adapted keyboard. And it basically just looks like a flat box keyboard interface it has here okay, for a plug to a Mac or a PC. A lot of this uh, equipment is cross-platform, which again, it means it can work on a Macintosh or a PC, so it can work with Windows or Mac. If you notice, a lot of software is going both ways as well, because we're learning to adapt to both environments. They both have their strengths. Okay, they both have their weaknesses as well, <laughs> but Mac and PC are becoming more alike, so it's kind of cool, especially for people who have one or the other, they can still use the same equipment. And this is an IntelliKeys, which acts as a keyboard, but we can interchange the different types of displays. This one looks like a standard keyboard. I've got an alphabetical keyboard on here with a space and return. Some basic functions, escape, tab, caps lock, etc. Okay. Slide out the display, okay. place in another one. This one is an IBM display. Notice there's a little black tab here. See that little black tab? Okay, looks like a little marker. That's actually a little embedded chip. It's a microchip. Okay, this is actually an electronic device. What it does is when you slide this in, it clicks. It'll interface with the computer. You'll hear a beep, and the light will go on. It reads that computer chip, and it knows which board this is. Okay, so it's saying, aha, this is the IBM overlay. And it'll know that it has function keys. It will know that it's a standard QWERTY keyboard. Okay, Q, W, E, or 2, R, Y. So it'll know that this is a standard IBM keyboard. This also has a mouse built into it. And then the IntelliTools program, which is a software that you run with this, will know which keyboard you're using. Okay, let's say, for instance, that you want to adapt this to a different type of a keyboard interface. Well, let's try something like this. Again, slide in. See, I shouldn't have left my third arm at home today. See? Simply slide it in. That's what happens when you do a demo, right? I was at Microsoft demo last week, and she's like, hey, watch this. Watch this. Okay, watch this. Let's do a figure eight. She was making up. This, you do the figure eight, things happen faster. It's still killing time. But she was so funny. She was great. She's like, you know, technology it always does that. Congratulations, Windows XP, right? Um, so here we've got an example of numbers and a mouse keypad. Again, this would be programmable. You notice these are ones that are standard. I mean, they, they came with the program. Again, this would be one so that uh, perhaps a smaller child or a, someone with low vision or would need a, a, more of a simple keyboard could just hit numbers or use the keyboard here. Okay. It can also be used just as a mouse. Okay. You can use, this is especially good if someone has physical disability can just use their knuckle and can drive the mouse on this keyboard and then hit enter or return, as well as your own. So here's an example of an overlay that we made. IntelliTools, the software, has a program called Overlay Maker. You can make your own overlay. So in this example, we've chosen several characters. And you notice there's pictures on here. I've got a snake and stuff like that. Yeah, put the pack in. This one was made by one of our staff. We've got different pictures, a bear, a bee, a bird, okay, as well as numbers, as well as a repeat key. We've got a directional mouse key, as well as these here, okay, shift down, okay, and zoom. These will zoom up the pictures. So we've made this especially for a certain group of children that wanted to learn about these animals. And you can associate sounds with them. So they'll push the bear and they'll say, bear, arr, you know, and then they can, they can zoom it like this and it'll blow it up and it'll reduce it and they can actually play with the picture. So they're learning and they're playing and they're interacting at the same time. Okay, and you, two Bs and then two Bs will pop on the screen. So we can program this to respond to however we program it. This is an excellent program, an excellent tool, the IntelliKeys for children and for learning uh, education um, for children with learning disabilities as well. But it's an excellent program because it's interactive and you can create what you want. That's called the IntelliKeys. Okay, it also then obviously is, has support so you can use it as a standard keyboard and it's mobile. Okay, you can also take it with you. Okay, that's exa those are examples then of some mice, some switches, some keyboards. Okay, and so now I talk a little about low vision support. 
A uh, couple of things we have. I'm going to show you some low-tech and high-tech again, kind of some standard hardware and then some software. Uh, we have something called sticky keys. And actually, I was just on the Channel 2 News the other day with Kirk and Leslie in the morning, and I actually demonstrated this. So those of you who are watching the news, hey, I saw you on the news. This was one of the things I demonstrated. Uh, what we've done is I, I took an iMac keyboard, and I just placed sticky keys on here. So what these are is standard key, standard keyboard stickers, and I just stuck them on the keyboard as well as on the numbers. Now, this can be used for, and they come on a sheet, you know, just like a little sheet of stickers. You just peel them off and stick them right on the keyboard. Okay? And also, you can put them on your cell phone. You can put them on your regular telephone. Anywhere where you have numbers or letters, you can use these sticky keys and peel them off the sheet and put them wherever you want them. Okay, so you don't have to actually change the hardware. This is a standard keyboard. I just changed the interface or the way it looks. So someone with low vision now will be able to see the keyboard. Okay, someone with a cell phone. Cell phone buttons are teeny, tiny buttons. Okay, you can get different sizes of numbers. Okay, these are kind of big, but you can get ones that will fit over your cell phone buttons that are just big enough so you can actually see the number. Okay, it's got, wow, that's really small. So as things get smaller, we need more stuff like this to be able to see it. Okay, um, so this is an example of the sticky keys, where they just come on a sheet of stickers, and you can stick them on whatever you want. Okay, how about just, like, games and stuff? I mean, we only think, we think of assistive technology so we can get our work done. Okay, well, yeah, <laughs> so you can learn something, right? Okay, yeah. But what about play? And play is very important. There are all sorts of games, and kind of like with the IntelliKey, so you, you can play games with them, with the drawings, and you can do all sorts of interactive games. But what about regular games that, like, that we already have? Well, things like playing cards can be difficult for someone with low vision because it's hard to see them. So what I have is adapted playing cards. Okay, and you'll notice a couple things about them. Obviously, the pictures are larger, okay, um, and the characters are larger. And also, I don't know if you can see this or not, but if you'll notice, there's Braille. See that? These are Braille cards as well. So each one of these cards has Braille numbers on them. Okay, so in that way, Braille cards. Okay, so little things that we don't think about but things that make a big difference to someone who is blind, low vision, wants to play cards. I mean, those types of things are very important. So we have adaptive play utensils as well. Okay, now I'm going to pop back over to the PC, and I'm going to show you an example of a software that actually will zoom your screen or enhance or magnify the screen. It's called Zoom Text. There are several different types of software out there that will do this. Uh, there's Magic, there's... Uh, I think Zoom page, I'm not sure. I, but Zoom text is probably the most popular and the most adaptable type of uh, visual enhancement software we have for the computer. So what I brought up is my window here. I go ahead and I can hit the level, level 2, level 3. It will automatically go to that level for me, okay? And it will pan the screen automatically, okay? And I can also use a zoom in function so that what I can do is zoom in on a specific item. And it goes very large, up to, this goes up to 16 times screen enhancements. 